GTA 6 leaked? What? Dude, I have been at work all day waiting to talk to you guys about this. And then I came home and I knocked out in this chair. I was straight Dude, I was dreaming about GTA in my dreams like like an hour ago. Okay, let me calm down for a sec. I'm I'm hyped. I mean, of course I'm hyped. You guys know I've I've had my fair share of knocking Rockstar down a peg on the channel. But if you've also been watching the podcast, you know I love Red Dead and I love GTA. It is like top games all time. I love these games. And the footage that we got, we got screen captures, we got information on the main characters, we got, like, I think there was overall, like, 90 minutes of leaked footage. I didn't get to watch it all because I've been busy all day. But the stuff I saw, look, now it wasn't, it was all pre-alpha, right? So it wasn't the greatest looking stuff, but nonetheless, this is 100% confirmation that Rockstar has been putting in the work. They didn't, you know cancel red dead online leave it dead in the water for nothing you know they haven't just put it been putting every ounce of effort into gta 5 online they're bringing us something but then i started seeing tweets about the repercussions of this and why this is not something to be all <laughs> about even though i'm very <laughs> and so i thought to myself maybe we all could have been better off without the leaks Let's talk about it. As some of you know, I am Christian and I want to welcome you guys to 5-9 Direct and we can begin talking about these crazy, crazy leaks uh, of Rockstar's upcoming GTA 6. Uh, now, you know, in the past, uh, what, about, I want to say last year, they put out a, a, a release saying it's coming, like this is confirmation, a game's coming. Everyone's been like, when? Can we see anything out of it? What's going on? Well, today, in a, a way that Rockstar would never have wanted to show us, uh, we did get to see GTA 6. And let's just kind of talk about everything we saw first, and then we'll talk about why people are saying this should like this, what what this really means, and what the possible repercussions are for us as the consumers and Rockstar as the developers. Um, so in the footage, right, we, we got a number of things. First of all, we we do get to see uh, both main characters. Now, Rockstar had came out and there were all these reports. I don't know if Rockstar came out and said it, but a lot of reports saying that GTA 6 was going to feature uh, the first female protagonist since GTA 2. Uh, and that's true, but it actually looks like they are going the route of GTA 5 with the three separate characters that you can pick from like like Trevor Michael and and Franklin, um, where you can switch between them and play as them pretty much at any time as once they're unlocked, um, and that was some of the stuff that we got shown. Uh, I I'm sorry guys, this is this is crazy, right? This is these leaks are insane. I mean, not even just let's also let's also mention the fact that, um. We what what really makes this hard is uh, there was a tweet by let me let me pause it. editor <laughs> editor edit this I'm gonna find the tweet real quick and then. okay so I I did find the tweet by Jason Schreier that says not that there was much doubt but I've confirmed with Rockstar sources that this weekend's massive Grand Theft Auto Six leak is indeed real so everything that anybody saw online was, was hard confirmed which is also very um obvious too when you see all of take two entertainment which is the parent company of rockstar um requesting takedowns for a channel you big youtube channels that are showing footage so oh, there's not gonna be a set a single cent 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 there's not gonna be a single second of footage in this video they will hunt us down. They'll hunt me down. They'll hunt my brother's cat down. We're not showing you a second of footage. Um, but, uh, I mean, not only could we get in trouble, but, I mean, imagine the person who, who leaked this because I think a big thing behind this, too, is that they um, have uh, apparently have the source code for GTA 5 and the source code for GTA 6. And again, we'll talk about what that means later on. Um, but other things that we did get to see is we got to see live 
live footage, actual gameplay of uh, characters walking around, uh, characters holding weapons. So uh, some of the things that really impressed me was, was um, I mean, outside of the graphical stuff that you know gets probably gets fixed in like the last like couple months of game development, but like the walking animations were just phenomenal. <laughs> they looked amazing. This game looks like it's, it's really built off of what Red Dead 2 um, set as Rockstar Standard. Uh, and is taking it to a level un unseen for, for Rockstar. And I believe this is clearly going to be next gen only. Um, on top of that, we, we got to see the, the kind of details that only Rockstar devs could really bring to GTA. Reminiscent of the horse balls in Red Dead 2. And if you don't know about the horse balls physics in Red Dead 2, uh, it's that they put so much attention to detail in that game that even the horse balls in the cold weather will shrink on the male horses. It is uh, magnificent and I tip my hat to the developers who worked on that. But the stuff that we did get to see in this game was little things like being inside the, the, the driver's seat of the car and you could see adjustments to the height of the steering wheel, uh, to the leverage of the seat, much like my seat here, up, down, back, and forward. Um, I saw you could adjust the pedals on the bottom of the car like it, it's insane it's it's really insane what they're putting their effort into and like i as much as it hurts i get it why they let red dead online go red dead online one there's two reasons right it wasn't making them that much money especially at least in comparison to red dead uh a gta online it just was not i mean that's no surprise to anybody but also to be like, well, this isn't making us too much money, but so why not focus the sources on all the things that we've crazy ideas are coming to our mind and we need the team to do these crazy ideas. I get it. It hurts still. A heart breaks, but I get it. Um, we got to see uh, an, a basically updated robbery, uh, which it looked a little, it was hard to tell because it's so early. If this is a mission or if this is one of those things like in GTA Online where you can rob convenience stores. Um, you were doing it with the two characters, a male and a female, which, um, what I'm, what I'm hearing is that the, the, the two characters are reminiscent and based off of this Bonnie and Clyde. Um, and it was, it was a, it looked like a convenience store, like, uh, more of a, um, diner, I'd say was what they were robbing gun animations, the police, the driving animations were, that was GTA when, when you stole, she stole a police car in it. It was very GTA. I mean. I sound like a crazy man rambling because I can't show it, but it was, it was beautiful. It was great. And I, I'm, I'm applauding the work that they put it in and it, it just looked fantastic. There was, there was so much to this game that I, I'm very excited for, uh, the location accuracy where this game is going to be set in, in, in their, their fictional Florida vice city, a new vice city, re, you know, redone for the newest gen, the new game. Um, and people were pinpointing places that they saw in real life. And I was again, blown away. It's, it's, it's very accurate. Uh, it looks great, but all of this, getting to see all of this while as exciting as it can be, which is odd considering the number of people who are like, this game looks unfinished. This you know, rockstar needs to do better. It's like, well, it is unfinished. You doofus. There is a bad side to this and what could be a very bad side to this, because as I said before, uh, allegedly the leaker who, who released all this footage, uh, has access to the source code to GTA five and the newest unreleased GTA six. And I'm not a game dev, so I'm not a hundred percent familiar with what, uh, the source code having this means to the development of the game. Um, the way I saw it was a, a very lovely, helpful tweet. And hopefully this makes sense to other people too, but they basically put it as, as this is this is like someone having the map to a maze. Because if you know, if you look at the code inside the game without this, you're just like a bunch of code. But if you have the map to it, now you have access to navigating this code and understanding how it works, how it's built. Maybe most people, this will mean nothing to even the smallest dev team, but maybe this could mean something to those, those uh, those bootleg gaming dev teams? I I don't know. I'm not too certain. But another another grand issue is is that people were saying that this could set the game back six months, a year, maybe even two years. And that 
hurts because we're already probably two years out from this game releasing. And if this sets it back, you know, let's say the worst case scenario sets it back another two years. We're, we're another four years away from, from GTA, uh, from GTA 6, from anything from Rockstar. I mean, look, they, they've shelved a lot of projects to get this game out, right? There's no Red Dead 1 remaster coming. There is no Red Dead 2 next gen update coming. Uh, the Red Dead Online is is dead in the water. They they put a lot of work and all these devs whose hard work is now pretty much gone down the drain. Not fully. They don't have to cancel the game or anything. But apparently, at least from the information I've gathered online, and, and I would love someone in the comments to explain it further. Like if you if you really understand this, let me know. Let our team know. We'd love to know truly the scope of how bad this is because it's. It, it's it's kind of lost on us and me especially because I'm not a game developer, um, but that that hurts to see. And other things people were saying is that maybe this could this could uh, make more strict the the policies for work at home for these developers because uh, a lot during COVID is uh, that has changed uh, for work policies being able to work from home, especially with game development and oh, oh, you know online work. And maybe they'll start cutting back on that. That could just affect the lives of people who work. On the game, not just working, not just having to change up the development, but change up their personal life too, because they can't be in a time like this. This could be very bad. So you know, hurrah for us to get to see footage. But I feel terrible for the developers. With, with it's hard to know how this is going to affect them in the future. Um, but on the flip side, guys, GTA 6 is coming. Um, eventually, eventually it is coming and, uh, I'm so excited. I'm, I can't wait. I, I hope this isn't as, as horrible as this, this seems for Rockstar and this, uh, as, as one tweet put it, this will just be a footnote in a Wikipedia page one day and we will all be enjoying GTA six to its fullest. But, um, that's all I have for you guys. Um, again, my name's Christian here with five, nine direct. I just wanted to talk about this with you, uh, show all of your excitement or disappointment appointment in the comments below I'll be happy to respond to you guys talk with you guys a bit uh, and we will get back to you guys in the next video all right take it easy